Right now, beneath the streets of Naples, Italy, something terrifying is happening. And I'm not talking about next week, next month, or next year. I'm talking about today, January 3rd, 2026. At this very moment, as you watch this video, massive mud pools are violently boiling at 90 degrees Celsius in a place called Pizzierili, just 8 kilometers from downtown Naples. Every 10 seconds, explosive bubbles of superheated gas burst through the surface, launching mud and steam into the air. But here's what will shock you. These mud pools didn't even exist 15 years ago. In 2009, this ground was stable. Tourists walked freely through the area. Scientists conducted research without restrictions. Children played in nearby neighborhoods. Today, that same ground is completely off limits. Fences surround the zone. Warning signs in multiple languages tell visitors to stay back. Even trained volcanologists need special permits just to approach the site. What changed? Let me show you something that will make your heart stop. Between December 2018 and September 2020, scientists documented two massive expansion events at these mud pools. Oh. The first one happened suddenly, on December 1, 2018. Overnight, the mud and gas emission areas enlarged dramatically. Seismographs recorded strange signals lasting less than one second, bursts of energy unlike anything they had seen before. Then, in September 2020, it happened again. But the most disturbing discovery came when researchers used ground, penetrating radar and electrical imaging to look beneath the surface. What they found will change everything you think you know about volcanic risk. Three to four kilometers underground, there's a massive reservoir of superheated fluids. The temperature down there exceeds 200 degrees Celsius. These fluids are pushing upward through a vertical channel, like a chimney connecting the deep earth to the surface. And here's the nightmare scenario. At just 20 meters below ground, there's a clay cap acting like the lid on a pressure cooker. Right now, that lid is holding. But with every passing day, with every earthquake, with every cubic meter of gas that accumulates beneath it, the pressure builds. Scientists measured the gas output from the main fumarole, and the number shocked even them. Over 600 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. To put that in perspective, that's the same output as a medium-sized volcano during an active eruption. Except Campi Flegre isn't erupting. Not yet. Not yet. The, the gas is escaping. But the liquid magma and superheated water are trapped below, building pressure, searching for a way out. Now, imagine you're a resident of Pozzuoli, the town sitting directly above this geological time bomb. You wake up at 2 in the morning because your bed is shaking. Again. It's the 15th earthquake this week. You go to the kitchen, turn on the light, and notice a new crack in the wall. It wasn't there yesterday. You open your phone and check the latest bulletin from INVI, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. The ground has risen another 2 centimeters this month. The port where fishing boats dock is now so shallow that some vessels run aground at low tide. Your child's school conducted another evacuation drill last week. But here's the question nobody wants to ask. What if there's no warning? What if the explosion happens with no precursors like the one in 1198 AD that created a crater at Solfatara? What if the clay cap ruptures tonight? Stay with me. Because by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what's happening underground. Why scientists are more worried now than ever before. And what you need to do if you live anywhere near this supervolcano. Let me take you back to 2005. That's when everything started changing at Campi Flegre. The ground began rising. Slowly. At first. Scientists call this phenomenon bradicism which literally means slow earthquake in Greek. But there's nothing slow about what's happening now. 
In 2005, the uplift rate was maybe 5 mm per month. Annoying, but manageable. By 2012, it doubled. By 2019, it tripled. And today, in January 2026, the ground is rising at nearly 3 cm every single month. Let me give you a number that should terrify you. Since the 1950s, the entire Pozzuoli area has risen by 3 full meters. That's almost 10 feet. Imagine your house lifting 10 feet into the air over 70 years. Door frames crack, pipes burst, foundations crumble. So, the port that once accommodated large fishing vessels now sits partially above water at low tide. Boats literally run aground because the seafloor has risen so dramatically. Now here's where it gets technical, but stay with me because this is critical. Scientists used something called electrical resistivity tomography to create a three-dimensional image of what's happening underground. Think of it like a CT scan for the Earth. What they discovered is a vertical column of highly conductive material extending from three kilometers depth all the way to the surface. That column is a pathway, a chimney. And right now, superheated fluids and gases are traveling up that chimney at an accelerating rate. But why is the mud pool boiling at 90 degrees Celsius when water normally boils at 100? Here's the secret. Underground pressure changes everything. When you're at sea level, water boils at 100 degrees. But when hot gases surge upward from 3 kilometers deep, mixing with groundwater, creating pressure fluctuations, the boiling point drops. At 90 degrees, that mud isn't just hot, it's violently boiling. Steam explosions occur every few seconds. The surface churns like a cauldron. Now, let me ask you something, and I want you to comment below with your honest answer. If you lived in Pozzuoli, would you stay or would you leave? Think about it. You have a home, a job, family roots going back generations. But every night you feel tremors. Every month the ground rises higher. Every week there's another crack in your wall. What would you do? Seriously, drop a comment right now. Would you stay and hope for the best? Or would you evacuate before authorities tell you to? Here's what makes this situation even more dangerous. Between 2019 and 2021, seismic tremor amplitude increased three times. Three times in just two years. That tremor isn't coming from tectonic plates shifting. It's coming from gas and fluid moving through fractures in the rock. Every time you feel that tremor, it means more gas is escaping. More pressure is building. More pathways are opening underground. And remember those short duration events I mentioned earlier. Those 0.8 second bursts recorded on seismographs. Scientists initially didn't understand them. But after the December 2018 expansion event, they realized something chilling. Those signals correspond exactly with intense boiling episodes in the mud pool. When the underground pressure spikes suddenly, the boiling intensifies and those seismic bursts occur. They're like alarm bells. Now let me tell you about something that happened in 1538 that will make your blood run cold. For eight days straight, the ground shook violently. Residents of Pozzuoli fled their homes in terror. Then, on September 29th, the earth exploded. Fast forward to 1982. No eruption occurred, but the ground rose almost two meters in just two years. 10,000 people were evacuated from Pozzuoli. Schools closed. Businesses shut down. Hmm. Families were torn apart, as some chose to leave permanently while others returned when the crisis seemed to calm down. My grandfather lived through that crisis, and he told me the fear never really left. Even when the shaking stopped. Today, the signs are eerily similar. Ground uplift, increasing seismicity, rising gas emissions, but there's one critical difference. Back in 1982, there were no mud pools boiling at 90 degrees Celsius. So I'll ask you again, 
And please be honest. If you were a parent living in Naples right now, would you keep your children there? Or would you send them to stay with relatives in another city until this crisis passes? Comment below. I genuinely want to know what you would do. Here's what's happening right now, today, as I speak to you. The INV monitoring network has detected 9 earthquakes in the last 24 hours alone. 9. Most of them are shallow, between 1 and 3 kilometers deep, right in the heart of the hydrothermal system. The largest one measured magnitude 2.1. Not strong enough to cause major damage, but strong enough to rattle windows, shake beds and remind everyone that this volcano is wide awake. But earthquakes aren't the only concern. Let me show you what scientists discovered just last month. I the fault system beneath Pisarelli and found something deeply troubling. There are two main fault lines intersecting directly beneath the mud pool. One runs northwest to southeast. The other runs northeast to southwest. And right at their intersection point, that's where the mud pool sits. That's where the pressure is concentrated. That's where the weakest point in the Earth's crust exists. Now, imagine this scenario. A magnitude 4 earthquake strikes, stronger than anything we've seen recently. The shaking destabilizes the slopes around the mud pool. Tons of rock and debris slide downward, burying the active vents. Suddenly, the gas that was escaping freely can no longer get out. The pressure builds rapidly beneath that debris. Within hours, or maybe days, a freetic explosion occurs. Not from magma reaching the surface, but from superheated steam finding a catastrophic release. Is this scenario guaranteed? No, is it possible? Absolutely. In fact, scientists found evidence that this exact thing happened in the past. Ancient mud pool sediments were discovered buried under old landslide deposits 5 meters above the current pool level. So here's what you need to do if you live in or near the red zone. First, have an emergency bag packed at all times. Water, food, medications, important documents, cash. Hmm. Keep it by your door. Second, know your evacuation route. Don't wait for authorities to guide you. Study the map, know where you're going. Third, establish a communication plan with your family. If networks go down, where will you meet? Who will you call first? Fourth, monitor NV bulletins daily. Baby, don't rely on social media rumors. Here's my final question, and this one is critical. How many of you watching this video right now actually have an emergency kit prepared? Be honest, drop a comment. Yes or no? Because if the answer is no, you need to fix that today, not tomorrow. Today. Today. Fun. Propum the you jidil. The van the zavate. The vers the yez zur. Samini the yunas. Dave. And if this information has opened your eyes, if you now understand the real danger that Campi Flegre poses, then do me one favor. Because I will continue monitoring this situation daily. This is survival. Subscribe now, turn on notifications, and stay informed. Your life might depend on it. The mud pools are boiling. The pressure is building. The clock is ticking. Don't wait until it's too late.